I can't stop thinking about that guy. <laughs> you know the guy. To be honest, it would probably be weirder if we could save everybody here. There's bound to be some casualties. And it's not my fault. If it wasn't me coming here, somebody else would have come. Yes, yes. That's how I'll rationalize it to myself. Abigail's cabin. Fatal Fortress Game Master's Tomb. Greetings, GM. Fatal Fortress is a world deprived of sunlight. As GM, you will guide a troop of stalwart adventurers through glittering caves, crawling with rat men, into battles against horrors that have slept for centuries and deep into the secret heart of the Fatal Fortress itself. Unlike other games, Fatal Fortress has no set character classes, instead encouraging players to play by their own way, by mixing and matching abilities, as they are faced with new challenges. This game also features a dramatic magic system, where players create their own spells by drawing or combining ruins. Each player will need a character record sheet, a miniature to represent their character on the combat map, a full set of polyhedral dice, and a thirst for danger. This is their D&D! Stop it! Why are you like this? Stop! Just stop! Oh, there's the character sheet again! These are all treasure maps to find stashes. I don't know where this location is off the top of my head, but I'm gonna try to remember that. Captain Stabfellow. I think we've seen this one before. Alright, uh, Elias has... Stabfellow! Stabfellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Well, forget that, it just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. <gasps> All right. Let me light a torch. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? That's her voice. You made it. Yes. Right here. <laughs> I was getting the impression by the end there that they don't actually want her to come here. <laughs> oh, this is... Dude, they are so hardcore. They have like a dedicated corner to this. This table is dedicated to this. And that makes you remember that, oh yeah, these employees, everybody here, they're probably big nerds. Big science nerds. Because nobody other than big nerds would play D&D like this. Remember, blind ogres can call for help with gongs. Try to distract Flagdasterus from using white gem against Necro. Plus one lock bonus to whoever figures out Drip's riddle. Mm. Seems fun. We have pizza, snacks... Horde and Baffle Flagdasterus. <laughs> so where was Danielle's sheet? I think they scheduled this so that she couldn't come. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Rosalind Swift? Maybe this one. No, this is Emma? Can I... can I zoom in? Not really. So that actually did give me some some more voice processing for Danielle's thing. There's probably some other samples that we can listen to, but I don't want to listen to. I mean, in my in my audio log right now, but I'm not gonna listen to them until we get to her cabin, which I'm guessing we should do soon because, uh, where are we? Because at this rate, we're gonna freaking do the whole thing before before we even go to her cabin, Brett. Sure, I have the... I have the spare parts. Error. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. It's not... This guy was trying to hide behind it, but he Diagnostic still couldn't make check. it. IFF. 
Nothing over here. Oh. Oh! I was over there and I shot this guy over here. Okay, come down. Come down there. Oh, no. Well, that works. This was the rec center. They have chess tables, dedicated D&D corner, giant TVs, pretty much everything. If you're making someone leave Earth, you better give them the best of the best when it comes to entertainment and general comfort. Because otherwise, like how can you take people away from Earth for something anything less than this? Ping pong table, pinball machines, some indistinct controllers, poker? I don't know. Taking the beer though. Oh, this was such a nice place. They're rich. Filthy rich. Billiards. Something. Ah, uh, don't. Let's get out of here so I can stop thinking about this guy. Oh, thanks, Poltergeist. Ruined my day here. Gosh. You can't put leverage 2 here. I can't get out if you do that. <laughs> As for myself. Yep. So we got this guy. Oh, this guy's okay. Can we drag him into the corner so that we don't accidentally hurt him? Let's bring him into the med bay. Seems like an appropriate area. If that wasn't there. Can you help him? Pardon me. No? Uh, okay, I guess I can put him on the stretcher, because we're right here anyway. We're doing some, like, role-playing here. I can't seem to stand up with him. Mm. I can't put him on there. I don't want to fling his body, because that seems... Okay, then. I guess I'll just... Uh, I think I made it worse. Oh, yeah, I made it worse. I made it worse. He's not even looking... Just leave him here, okay? Just... Protect him, okay? Protect him. Um... We should set this up. Deploying. We should set this one up. We haven't been here before. This area, so we gotta be careful that there's not any... Why is my cursor red? What? What the hell was that? I hit myself. That's weird. Patricia Wong. Patricia. Oh, we can go back for the medical operator. What what the hell was that though? I could hit myself. Weird. Do you not want to heal me? Requesting new operator. Cause this one's obviously too trash. Why wanna heal me? Transstar period. Four nine zero medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. None of them are willing to heal me, for some reason. For some strange reason. Okay then, sure... That sucks, but... It's what I gotta live with for now, I guess? I'm not sure what's going on. Concierge? Galagos' habitation pod. Bellamy's cabin. Everything is here. Transgressions. Ooh, it's a movie.
I guess these people are just dying. <laughs> There's too much Typhon in them. Oh, I can't rely on the... Oh, I can't rely on turrets if I want to save these people. I don't actually know if there's a difference between being unconscious and dead, though. I mean, being unconscious in a situation like this is pretty dead. Oh, Damn it, this sucks. This sucks. This really sucks. This is a restaurant. Oh my god. Another one. Who is the telepath doing this? Okay, well, if these people are gonna die anyway, then I'm gonna try to use the... stun gun again? Shit. You know what? I bet I have some stuff that lengthens the... the range. <laughs> this might be a really stupid idea, putting all my upgrades on this, but I do want to try it out. Because otherwise, this gun has no purpose, and that's not good. Whoever you are, run! There is no more food here except you! If you are still a hold of your brain, good! Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close! They're puppets! Bombs! Their master is close! Kill beast, or puppets, or both! But do it before they kill you! When no more puppets, maybe we talk! This is the cafeteria. Okay. Mm, we could glue them. We could glue them up. That's a thing too. But the thing is, if we glue them up, they'll eventually get out. So that's not a permanent solution. Where is the telepath? That's what we really need to know. In this case, would it be my interest to... Oh, he's coming over here. Would it be my interest to just be a mimic and walk around? It's using a lot of psi hypos, but I'll try and see if this works. This is really stupid. <laughs> this is big! Can I be something small? Um... No, we'll, we'll cancel it. I want to be something smaller than that, like a... like a can of beer or something, I don't know. Something small. What's small? Everything is pretty big here. A flexi bolt? No, I can't be that. I don't want more people to die because of me. Okay. We can still... Oh shit. Okay, that's not... I thought that we could keep chugging psi hypos as we were using mimic matter but that's not the case i don't think is it i don't actually know let me try that again yeah we can yeah we can okay so let's keep walking around like this trying to find the technopath or the the telepath i keep mixing them up and we're gonna try not to disturb any of these people can we find we can't use the scope here though that's the problem and there it is there it is there it is it's going out it's going out okay what i need to do is get the frick back here use some hypos use some health and then They're not that close to me. I can do this. He's turning. He's turning. He's turning. He's turning. He's turning. <laughs> okay. Okay. Combat focus would be a good start, but I also need a shotgun. Um, okay. Puppets. Now you join them. You. Come to kitchen window. Let me see you. 
Are they all good? I just don't want to kill people, man. I don't want to see more exploding heads. Oh. Thank the lords. Mm. Lisa? Well... I guess being unconscious is better than being dead because maybe later we can find a cure for them. But not if their head is gone. Where is this window I'm looking for? To talk to the chef? Someone who's holed up here? Oh! Oh, wow, they had a lot of people here. Good thing we found that telepath. Or more accurately, it found us. Hey, man! Your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you. You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my... Award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Sure. Oh, he closes it. I was gonna say, well, if you keep the blinds open, maybe I could just mimic matter into the room, but smarter than that. Cade? Friends? Indigo? Well, we couldn't save all of them, but I'm glad that, like, Maybe six or seven people here? Don't have exploded heads. That's a good thing. Oh, looks like this crew quarters area is huge. It's bigger than I thought. Initially, I thought this was just gonna be like, oh, here are the cabins of the people. But no, their entire... Like, what they do, aside from work, everything is here. Oh my gosh, there were a lot- Oh, this is a corpse. Daisy. Oh! Yeah, I think maybe the, the chef ran into this guy. Not the chef, the guy holed up here, Will. Kind of reminded me of my brother. <laughs> it's the, the stature. Okay. Hmm? I don't know what that is. Oh, there's no food here. Where is all the food? There's a lot of dead people here. Holy crap. Oh! Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, the bad thing is, after all this time, I still don't know if the Disruptor stun gun works. I think it does. I think it does. We just have to do it a lot. That's the problem. Yeah. If I can, I'm gonna try to use the Null Wave Transmitter, mostly. Just because it's less of a trouble and bigger chance that we save the people. If you wish to modify your dining schedule, notify the concierge. Food allergy, culinary staff happy to adjust menus for diagnosed food allergies with advance notice and proper documentation. See Beth Eno for a dietary exemption. Oh, it is a chef! Chef Will Mitchell announces a tour of Italy. For the next week, he will provide signature dishes from various regions of Italy. First will be Veneto, represented by Risotto El Nero di Sepia. <laughs> Followed by the regions of Lombardy, Marchi, and Campania. Come hungry each day for a new adventure. To assure adequate seating for everyone, please restrict dining to your assigned lunch and dinner periods. What? If you wish to modify your dining schedule... Okay, there. Mm. Pretty... One more try, one more try. We have to stay away. That's the big thing. I can't really judge the distance, though. That's the... 
Didn't get them. Too far away. I don't want her head to explode. Mmm. It does work if we do it properly. The first guy? Maybe we didn't charge the gun enough? I don't really know what happened there. Yeah, we can't come in because he won't let us in. Kitchen access. Is there really no other way to get in? Oh, speaking of which, I think I should be looking at these maps periodically so I can try to figure out which ones the treasure maps point to. This one. I don't know this one yet. There's a black thing in the middle here? Mm. L2. Yeah. This one, I am pretty sure it's the water treatment facility. In fact, can we check that right now? If we could. That'd be pretty sweet. Can we? We might not be able to. Yeah, that's just how it is here, unfortunately. Mm. So that one, let me look at it again. There's nothing distinct about it, though. That's why it's so hard to remember. Stairs? There's these four black things here. I don't know what they are, but I guess we'll keep an eye out for them. I'll just have to keep opening the map periodically to make sure. Okay, so now we found a use for the disruptor stun gun. If we do it properly, people shouldn't be dying. Uh... Oh, okay. I mean, that's cool, but I don't think I need anything here. Are you gonna give me food? No? Well, they don't say anything. Okay, that's that. Any fire alarms I should be looking out for? Nothing. Mmm. With all the mind controlled people wandering around, that kind of tells me that I should stop relying on turrets in this level. This guy? Oh, uh, if I'm not looking, they might kill somebody. But there's nothing I can do about it. I don't want to kill my turret just because I'm scared about that. I can unlock this. Oh shit. John Davis. I can unlock this. Oh. How does that work anyway? Does it depend on someone having a pulse? Because that guy's not getting dragged up. Cook's room. Don't All worry the about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. Fong Vu. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. At the very minimum, one person is mind controlled in here. We don't have that. We can't go in. Gonna leave them alone for now. Danielle's cabin. Oh shit, why are things flickering? No poltergeist, please. Thornstein? That's somebody from the trauma center. Yeah, we have this. If we're here, I guess we should be holding the stun gun out. Although it takes some time to- Yeah, it takes some time to recharge anyway, so... Oh, can we close this, please? Thank you. Emails. Exotic materials, which are round. Oh. Recycler charge. Battery optimizer. Increase the battery life of the flashlight. <laughs> nice, but completely unnecessary. Well, not mandatory. Not unnecessary, just not the most needed. Pizza. There's gotta be secret rooms in here somewhere, right? I don't know. Hmm? Deo Igwi, Jorgen. My new reployer, Dr. Thornstein. I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people- We've read this. They got a new one in their office. Yeah, so this guy got a reployer, but he doesn't know what it does. Heart requisition? Clive? Wanted to clear a Morgan request again. Morgan was down here in hardware today, just standing there. We've read this one too. 
Morgan asked for more operator parts. Ah, now that makes sense. Because I was building January and December. You know what? Just the fact that there is a January and a December, I'm not going to rule out that February, March, April, May, June, July. They're all here somewhere. Because why would I use the first month and then the last month? Actually, I think it makes more sense if we use the same name over and over again. Because <laughs> we don't know. We don't remember that we used them already before. It's midnight. It's midnight. Oh my lord. Nothing suspicious in here, I guess. <sighs> you can hear it already. Something is not right. Something is not right. Bellamy? We also have this from the morgue. We should be finding research in here. That's the whole point of us tracking down his corpse, right? Because he had research notes somewhere. Hmm. I think I feel better holding a shotgun after all. Yeah, since we're in tight quarters right now. Molecular science. Masters of science in molecular science. Psychoshock shielding. I think we already found something similar to that. Yeah, right here. Is it... different? Not... at all. Mm -hmm. February? 23rd. Morgan you type in research data. Oh... And somebody was already looking at this. Hang on. Let's look around a little bit first. Alex's room is in here too. Psionic aptitude available. Oh, I got my own research notes? I got lift field just now. That's something that I normally need to scan the poltergeist for, right? Did I get any actual notes? Real notes? Oh, yeah, this stuff. I don't think we... We don't have it on all of them. Maybe we get them at the very end when we get all of the research bars filled. So for the Etheric Phantom, prefers close combat. Given the chance, we'll split into a weaker duplicate. Oh, so that's why we saw two back in the Arboretum, even though I thought there was only one. Glue down or use no wave to stop this. Try to attack from a distance. Avoid ether clouds. Mm-hmm. Things that we knew a little bit about already. Goes to show that research really put some clarity on things, huh? Because the whole time, I thought there were two separate eth etheric phantoms. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Prefers to ambush prey. Use psychokinetic action to throw objects. Stunted legs make it slow. Use a typhon lure to help detect it. Oh, so that's how we can get it to come out. Or wait for it to attack. Whoa, this thing actually has arms. They're kind of invisible, but... You know, so far, most of these portraits... They're kind of blobby, and it's... It's kind of hard to tell them apart. Uh, good enough. Good enough. Yeah, alright, okay. Is that... Technopath. Takes control of nearby tech. If this thing gets a hold of turrets, you're dead. Shrugs off glue. Prefers to keep away from enemies. Stun or null wave it to get in close. Hmm. Some things we know from already just dealing with it in the wild, and then some things we find out from Morgan's old notes. And this is why losing your memory is not a good thing. <laughs> that was a one file. Alex to Sylvain. Morgan's solutions. Over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem, even though we've been controlling every possible variable. Room A, for example. In test 9, she exercised precise control to move boxes one at a time. In test 10, she simultaneously levitated them all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test. Then in 14, she incinerated them. If not for safety glass, if not for the safety glass, you'd. What is happening after reset that's leading to this variance? 
That is a little bit strange. Is it just random, random, random things changing? Or is it, is there really something else going on? That's something that, even though I'm the person in question here, that's not something I can give the answer to. Oh my god. Is that an unconscious person? Or dead? Oh shit. Elizabeth Bay. Excuse me guys, can you stop making noise over there? Oh my god, who is this? Henrik de Vries! No car needed. That's not a good sign. That means this area has been compromised. I should not consider it safe. Yeah, and that's what compromise looks like. Matthias! Why is Matthias in here? Oh. And what do they want me to fix over there? I'm not too sure yet. Guess we'll find out over there. Oh, we can lock it. Which I always want to do, because I don't want to be... I don't want to have something sneaking up on me. Lots of crumpled paper. He was doing some experimentations here, it seems. Where's... Have we seen... Henry... Henrik. Henrik's corpse yet? I don't actually know. Is this guy anti-technology or something? No computer in here? And Matthias? Matthias is randomly in here. That's not... expected. Okay. 